I've become so much fucking better at not fucking eating. I, uh, right before I started this, this is day two of my, uh, five day fast. Um, I've been fasting, let's see, about 41 hours fasted right now. Um, when I carved up, I carved up pretty bad. I mean, I ate all the bad shit, you know, fructose, fucking sugar, you know, donuts, goddamn cookies, fucking brownies, drinking wine, getting fucking nuts, going crazy, and when I did that, I also noticed that aside from, it seems like my tolerance for carbs has gone down, because my energy levels absolutely hit rock bottom. I would venture to say during that carb up, I had the lowest energy levels I ever had. I mean, I was having trouble going up hills, walking, while because we were hiking around at a few places, and it was just insane. I got back. I could barely move. We ended up eating pizza on top of that. I probably downed about 4,000 calories between pizza and wine because it was a wine tour and junk and some sandwiches and stuff like that. So basically, I completely fucking binged on Saturday, which caused me to gain about 8 pounds altogether in like one day. Now granted, a lot of that was probably food and water weight, you know, that, you know, because the food, you know, has to get broke down, you have to shit it out before the fucking weight goes away. But I immediately started dropping the weight as Sunday progressed. My, you know, my first 24 hours of my fast went pretty smooth, no hunger at all. My energy levels were back up to a decent level, not, you know, run around, go nuts level like today. Today I'm Got some fucking good energy going at 41 hours. But, um, hardly, I haven't hardly had any hunger. I, had, I got a little bit hungry about an hour ago. And by a little bit, I mean it was just a mildly annoying feeling that, hey, I could probably eat right now if I wanted. But overall, it's been a lot smoother than some of my past longer fasts. So it seems like the longer I go, even with cyclical ketogenic diet, I seem to be better adapted at doing longer fasts. So, maybe I'll make it to the five days. I don't know. So far, smooth sailing. All I've been drinking is water and black coffee with uh, a little bit of artificial sweetener in it. Um, Sucralose-based. Zero calories, zero carbs, nothing like that in it. So, you know, me and Death over here, we're doing pretty good at not eating. So, just... To some thoughts, you know, about this process. I, I know I've been harping on the keto fucking bandwagon for a while, and I might have lost a little bit of sight of the benefits of fasting. And um, having been studying a little more um, and watching some more workshops and stuff by doctors that I trust, uh, I'll put a link in the description to the latest series, Dr. Fung... I forget his fucking name. But it's in the link, you know, so go to the link. And it's a really good seven-hour goddamn workshop on how to fucking, you know, lose weight and what some of the misconceptions are. Um, overall, he cited the Mediterranean diet, which is a variant of a ketogenic diet. They are allowed some bread and fruits that were not allowed on the keto diet, but it, he cited that as probably the healthiest diet. Um, I disagree a little bit with it. I do believe that butter and animal fats have their place in our diet and are very helpful, especially in the satiety department. But overall, if you had to compare the two diets, I'd say the difference in health is negligible. The You know, a lot of... What's bad is goddamn fructose, sugar, and, you know, refined processed foods. These are the things that build our insulin resistance. These are the things that make us fat. And it boils down to managing your insulin, which is what this longer fast is about. I'm trying to break a plateau. You see, you are, my body has reached a set point of 193-ish. 
you know, sometimes I get down to 189, but then it shoots right back up to 193. And this is despite eating on a keto diet. Now, granted, I blame cyclical ketogenics to a degree because I spend three days out of my time recovering from the carb ups. Um, I don't, you know, I don't know. I've, I've, I'm debating only doing one carb up a month because honestly, I feel like dog shit when I fucking carb up now. You know, as opposed to you know, when I lost my initial weight without doing keto and I just did long fasts to offset my eating, I was, you know, pretty well on the energy department. I mean, I felt the dips when you eat like a normal fucked up person. But, uh, you know, on the fasts, I was sharp as a tack. And, but I had the hunger and cravings, and that's why I switched to keto was to get rid of that because I was addicted. I found myself wandering around the kitchen looking for Pop-Tarts, you know, for no fucking good reason. So this this fast that is, you know, this five-day fast, I'm doing it to try and get back on track. Um, I haven't shit yet, and I'm still not in ketosis at 41 hours. I'm still not pissing ketones at all. Um, I anticipate around 48 hours I'll start hitting light. Um, but yeah, I burned myself pretty good with this last carb up, so I need to be a little more fucking careful in the future. So that's it. This is just a quick update video. Tomorrow I'll start filming the weight loss series. Um, I'll get this video up tonight, um, and we will continue this fast. So far, so good on the fucking five-day challenge. Now, I have a little disclaimer here for you fuckers that are going to try and do this shit, too. It's at your own risk. Just because I'm doing it doesn't mean you can do it. Um, you know, that's my disclaimer. I mean, it's This is my personal experiment. If you do this yourself it's your choice i advise working your way up to something like this don't just stop start with never fasting do a 24 see how you sit with that then do a 36 see how you sit with that if you can do a 36 then try for the 72 if you do the 72 okay then go for the five day of course you gotta have breaks in between the longer the fast the more fucking time you need in between and you know you can drop back to the 16 and 8s or the 20s and 4s to hold yourself over for a little while it's also i find it's very necessary that in between these longer fasts that you eat enough calories if you don't you, your fucking metabolism is going to start to slow down and you'll easily put back on all the weight that you lost um, another reason I'm doing this fast is I want to experiment with what happens when you are keto adapted to a, a pretty decent degree, which I feel I am, um, and you start eating keto again after five days of you know a water fast. And I want to know what happens. Does my is my energy good? Do, do I feel like shit? You know, do I recover quickly? You know, these are things I don't know. So I'm ver trotting on virgin territory for my personal fucking experiment to see what's going to happen with my weight loss. Will I break my plateau? Will I lower my set point? That's the hardest fucking thing to do is when your body wants to weigh a certain weight, it's training it to want that, to, to get that weight lower. And a lot of the indicators I'm seeing in the research are fasting does accomplishes this like the guy that fasted 382 days he went from 400 and some odd motherfucking pounds of fat assness all the way down to 186 pounds and then over a year later was still at like in the 180 to 190 range so he lowered his set point he didn't regain all the weight so that is the goal you know, a lot of diets fail in that regard. You know, the fucking low-calorie, low-fat low diets, they all fucking regain their weight if they stop. If you stop pounding the fuck master and eating in a fucking 1,500-calorie deficit because your body just gradually lowers its metabolism when you do these low-calorie, consistent diets as opposed to intermittent fasting, you become you know, more efficient. Your body shuts down things that it thinks it don't need because you're consistently only taking in so many calories. So your body wants to be efficient. 
for some reason, fasting has, doesn't have that effect. But if you combine fasting with a huge calorie deficit, as in you're in a deficit all the time on top of fasting, I know from personal experience, your metabolism does slow down and you plateau. And I've been fighting that plateau because, honestly, I probably fucked up when I was fasting and I probably ate too few calories when I was eating. When I was supposed to eat, I should have ate like a motherfucker. And that's the thing with keto, too. It's hard to meet your maintenance when you're eating. If you're trying to hit maintenance calories, you're full at like 1,800 calories for the day. So you really have to work hard when you're not on refined carbs and processed foods to hit your calories. So that's kind of important to know. But anyway, these are just some fucking random thoughts on uh, what I'm doing. Wish me luck on my ketogenic diet journey. Once again, started out at 201.2 um, from the fucking carb up from hell. Immediately went down to 198, I think it was, 198.9 on Sunday, and today I was 196.9 this morning. So I'm the weight's coming right the fuck back off faster than I can keep up, it seems. So I anticipate, you know, I don't, I'm not expecting huge amounts. Mainly this is going to recover me from that carb up and preposition me for a more aggressive fasting technique. I was thinking of going with ADF until I get to my goal if I got a nice springboard launch. But we'll see. We'll see how this five days will impact, you know. It would be nice that it will set me right into ketosis a lot quicker. Hopefully tonight I'll be in ketosis again. And hopefully I'll remain that way and remain adapted. Um, I don't know if I tanked my adaptation this weekend by overdoing it, but we'll see. Yeah, So far, indicators to me, to me, whether or not I'm hungry and craving is an indicator in whether or not I'm adapted in my energy levels. My energy levels right now are awesome, and my hunger and cravings are minimal to none. So I would say I'm still adapted if I'm this far, 41 hours into a fast, without experiencing any hunger or cravings, you know. To speak of and if you if you're a faster you know what i'm talking about you know when you're fucking craving and you're fucking hungry and starving and shit and you know when you're just kind of uh, i'm a little hungry but fuck it i don't need to eat that's bullshit eating's for pussies remember even though i know a lot of shit i'm not a fucking expert i'm just a fucking asshole Right, Death? Alright. Have a nice fucking day. Well, by the way, sorry for the selfie cam, but I don't have a lot of time to work on video right now. Because I'm working on pictures. So I threw this together on my phone. Oh well. Shit happens. Thanks for liking and subscribing, by the way. Thanks for keeping me at the, you know, above the thousand. You know, we're 1,100 subscribers now, and who knew? Um, but pass it on, because, you know, I've, I do feel that what I'm putting out there is helping people. I, I'm, you know, people in my personal life I'm helping. So anybody I'm helping with this, you know. And once again, thank you to those of you who've donated um, on the little support the channel fucking link. Um, I do appreciate that as well. But you don't got to do that. You can just like, share, or whatever, you know. That helps grow the channel. Ultimately, that's what helps make this possible. Have a nice fucking day.